Hello, I'm Chris. If you're learning to drive and struggle with road positioning, especially on bends, or on tight roads with oncoming traffic, then this video is for you. One common mistake many new drivers make is staring at either the curb, parked vehicles, the centre line, or oncoming traffic. Doing so can lead to unintentional steering either towards what they're looking at, or steering away to avoid it. This makes it hard to drive in the correct position. So what's the solution? Well, there's a few tips I'm going to give you. First tip, don't stare. For example, don't stare at what you want to avoid. Instead, look ahead at the center of your side of the road or lane. Look at where you want your car to go, rather than staring at what you want to avoid. Of course, you'll still need to be aware of potential hazards. So remember to glance around, but always return your focus to where you want to go. When the road gets tight, try not to stare at oncoming vehicles, otherwise your instincts might lead you to steer away from them. As a result, you might get close to parked vehicles or the curb. It's all about looking where you want to go, and not worrying about the width of your car, which from the inside looks massive. Try not to look at the oncoming vehicles or the parked vehicles. Instead, focus on the gap where you want to go. You will still see the oncoming and the parked vehicles just out of your peripheral vision. You can see how the oncoming drivers aren't directly looking at the parked vehicles or my car to see if they can fit, but they're looking straight ahead. There are exceptions though. When the gap is really, really tight, then you'll have to have quick glances at your mirrors and theirs to make sure that you're not going to hit anything. But quick glances. If you don't feel comfortable with the gap, then always stop and don't risk it. If you find yourself cutting corners and driving over the centre line, then again it could be to do with where you're looking. If you stare too far around the bend, then you might steer towards where you're looking and cut the corner. Try to look ahead at the centre of your side of the road or lane, and have quick glances around the bend to see what's coming up next, but just don't stare. Especially don't stare at oncoming, as you might unnecessarily steer away from them and hit the curb. Knowing when to start steering around the bend is also important to have a good position. Some new drivers start to steer when they see the bend coming up in front of them, but they haven't actually got to the bend yet, so it's too early to steer. Instead. Wait until you're right up to the start of the bend, and then begin to steer. Also, try not to stare at the vehicle in front. Or you might line up with them, which is okay if they're in a good position, but if they're not, or maybe they're turning right and you're turning left, then you might have a bad road position. Instead, keep an eye on them, but also look ahead at the centre of your side of the road or lane. Another tip that might help is when driving, have a quick glance in the side mirrors to check your position. The left mirror will obviously show you how far you are from the curb, but as usual, do not stare, otherwise you might start steering without realising, or hit something ahead. Here's a tip that might help you position correctly when turning right at the end of the road. If it's a two-way road then you should position just left of the centre line. For me, the centre line disappears into the car around here. This reference point might be slightly different for you as it depends on your height, seat position and car, but it will be something similar. When the line is there, I know I've positioned correctly. Another tip that might help is when you're driving and your instructor says you've got a good road position, have a quick glance at where the curb disappears into the car. You could use this as your good road position reference point, but as usual, don't stare at it. Just a quick occasional glance when you're not driving fast. When driving at speed, you should be looking further ahead. When you're nervous, it's easy to grip the steering wheel tightly, but try not to. It's easier said than done, but try to stay relaxed and just have a light grip, as it will help with your steering. Try and keep your hands on the steering wheel opposite one another, so it's balanced. If one hand is higher, then you might steer more towards that side, as one hand is pulling down more than the other. Hold the steering wheel at either a 10 to 2, 
or a quarter to three position for the best control. Another tip that might help with your road positioning is that if you're driving in the UK in a right-hand drive car, then your left knee will roughly look like it's in the centre of your side of the road or lane. Although your left knee is close to the centre of the car, it isn't quite in the centre. But from your driving position, it will look as though it's in the centre of your lane. And it works for a lot of new drivers who struggle with road positioning. If you drive on the right hand side of the road in another country in a left hand drive car, then you can line up the centre of the lane with your right leg. When it comes to these square speed humps, or speed cushions, then try lining your left knee up with the centre of them, and your car won't bump as much over the hump as the wheels go either side of it. You'll still feel it, just not as much. Lined up. Not lined up. Of course, don't drive around speed humps if you could put in a dangerous driving position. Just slowly bump over them. Looking far ahead can also help you sense if you're drifting out of position. Staring at the mirrors or speedo are also reasons to drift out of a good road position. Quick glances are so important. If it's a tight road, only wide enough for one car, and there aren't any oncoming vehicles, then drive in the centre of the road. There's no point driving close to parked vehicles and risk hitting mirrors, although make sure you move into spaces when it's necessary. Normally, you drive about a metre away from the kerb, but if the oncoming drivers have parked vehicles or other obstructions in their path, and you have available space, move more to the left, and be prepared for them to move on to your side of the road. The edge of the kerb now disappears into the car here. When parked, the kerb for me goes into the car here. So when driving, I mustn't let the kerb go to the right of this, or I'll hit it. These reference points might look slightly different for you, and be careful not to stare at them, just quick glances. And don't forget, on faster roads, you need to look further ahead. I'm turning left at the end of the road, and some new drivers, because they're turning left, steer left too early, and get too close to parked vehicles. Instead, stay in the centre, as oncoming can't fit anyway, and steer left only once you've got past the parked vehicles. Something else that may help with your positioning, but isn't perfect, are these tracks, and this area in the middle. You can even see them on Google Maps. These tracks are made by other drivers, although you can't always see them. If you get this area in the middle of your car, then you're driving in a position where a majority of other drivers have driven. The tracks are obvious to see off-road. Be careful not to blindly follow these tracks all the time though, as there might be parked vehicles and obstructions in the way. Plus, there's no guarantee that you'll always be in the safest road position, especially on bends. On Google Maps, you can see on this bend that the lighter line goes towards these white markings, indicating that a lot of drivers have driven over the markings and cut the corner slightly. So don't always follow this track. But on long stretches of road, it might help. Roundabouts. You've got to give way to the right. But if you stare to the right as you approach, then you'll probably end up in the wrong lane. Or as soon as you move on to the roundabout, you're straight away going the wrong lane. Instead, it's all about the quick glances. Look right, but also look where you're going to be going and plan your route. When you drive round a roundabout, don't stare too far around the roundabout, or you might drive into it. Instead, look ahead at the middle of your lane, and have quick glances further ahead. Incorrect tyre pressure can also affect how your car steers and handles. You can find information on the correct tyre pressure in your car manual, or there's sometimes a sticker near one of the doors. You'd have to visit a mechanic to help you with more serious problems with your car and how it handles. If you're unsure how to fill up the car with fuel, then watch this video next. Thanks a lot for watching, and I really hope it helps. 
please like and subscribe. And in the meantime, take care on the road and bye for now.